I really think the best advice that I can give anybody working on golf carts is to always gather your balls and make sure your balls is with you. So. So I think this battery box is fine. Um, there's a lot of surface rust on here. And a lot of that rust is where the, looks like the powder coat or the paint is coming up. Um, Yeah, I really think this right here is fine. It just does not look good. Um, the bolts are still here. I might see if I can just go ahead and unbolt this. This side of the battery tray is a lot worse than that side. I'm sure you can't see that side on camera right yet, but that nut looks fine where this nut right here looks a little rusty. Uh, I don't like it, so I might just go ahead and try to build another battery box and I say that because I've got lithium for this golf cart and we're gonna put that all in on this video god I hate easy goes this is the main reason I hate easy goes is all of this rust but I got it and we're gonna make something fun with it and uh, try to have some fun with it so I think next step is probably to unbolt these battery trays if I can get them out of the golf cart get the back one out and we might try to pressure wash it. So we got the OEM battery mount out of the golf cart. Now this was just your main uh, battery mount. This just held six batteries. Remember in the golf cart, there was another battery in that side compartment and two more back here as well. So we got this right here out for measurement purposes. It's still sturdy. It's got rust all over it. So we're just gonna build something new for these new lithium batteries here. Now this battery is by Big Battery. This is the Gator or GATR. This is a 36 volt battery. And I have two of these batteries we're gonna run a series. Now once we run two of these in series, our nominal voltage will be 72 volts. However, this one right here, uh, once it's charged, it's like 42, 43 and a half. And I think it'll go up to about 45 volts once they're fully charged. So. We could be looking anywhere between 85 and 90 volts uh, on this golf cart here um, in the system. Now, we got both of these batteries here. We got to accommodate for the plugs. The power and ground plug come out on the uh, passenger side here. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to put um, both of them just like that into the golf cart. I might have to make one facing forward here and the other one facing into reverse there in order to fit it between these dimensions here of the Fat3 uh, OEM battery tray. So that's pretty much where I'm at now. Today we're gonna be getting uh, the metal cut, welded, and try to make something in order to mount these batteries. Not sure if I'm gonna leave these wheels on the back of these batteries or the front mounts here. I might just take those off and uh, make them fit you know, really nice and low into the frame and uh, make it like a, a strap to go across the top of them. Not sure yet, not made it that far. So we'll see once everything gets going. If you're wondering about this bracket, this is like a cross member on that golf cart that goes between the uh, between the bed and the seat. I, I guess it was kind of like a support bracket or something, but we're gonna have to put that back in there once we 
uh, make this right here. I had to remove this in order to remove uh, these brackets here to get it away from the golf cart. So, all right, guys, I'm back here real quick. It's nighttime now, Saturday night. I've been working on this battery box for the two lithium batteries. Um, the last shot, it was daytime. I know that, I understand that. Humidity here has been just ridiculous lately. The day was supposed to be in the 70s or 80s or something like that. It was in the 90s again. Um, I've taken multiple breaks, a bunch of breaks. I do not have AC in my shop yet. That's that's on the list. But anyways, we got to get some of these brackets changed over here. Let me show what I'm talking about. So this right here is the Factory 6 battery holder here. I got to change these brackets here and put them on here or either make these and put on there. It might be, uh, might be the next day, the next time you see me. So I gotta get back to work. What's up guys, I'm back. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda hot today so I got stuck inside and I finished off the second season to uh, Outer Banks. Anyway, so it's cooled down and I decided to get out here and work on the old red a little bit. Uh, Latrica, old red, whatever we're gonna call this golf cart here. Whatever you think we need to call it, just leave it in comments below. But this is what I've pretty much done here. So we got the uh, mount for both of the batteries here. And uh, went here and tacked them up in here to get my front mounts in place. On the back mounts, like I said earlier, we're using these back mounts here. Those will also bolt in. We got those in the place as well. So next thing I'll do is take this out and kind of like burn it in before we can uh, move on to the next step. Had the batteries in here. Had one plug come out there, right? Where's the other plug gonna come out? Oh, directly behind this mount here. Smart engineering, Ryan. Very smart. So today is a new day, and I still love these terminals right here. I'll place a link to them in the description below in case you use a big battery. Um, these right here feet they mount perfectly where the old rollers or casters were on these batteries and i did that in another video i showed you these things and i'm doing them again and i did the positive on this side here now i had to use the positive from one battery and the negative from the other battery to run in series and i've wired tabbed them here i still need to cut these things off here and i've actually took a bolt with a washer and two, well actually two washers and a lock washer. And I uh, bolted those two together. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this black electrical tape. I'm gonna tape them up really well. And on the battery situation, this battery is upside down. I am not 100% happy with the way this right here looks. Well, I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm just not happy with one battery being upside down and the other battery being right side up. So. With that being said, I'm gonna run that for a little while. I do have wheels and tires for this and I have a lift kit for this golf cart already. And maybe once we do that, I'll have maybe a little bit more room around the motor or see how far it drops down. I might actually slide these batteries back a little bit or mount this one on the driver's side. I might slide it back a little bit more and slide that one forward a little bit so I can clear this right here on that main connector. But we'll see on a later video. So there we go, this is taped up. This is one piece of tape wrapped around this right here probably about 30 or 40 different times. I just wanted to make sure it was concealed. Next thing I'm gonna do is cut these wire ties. All right, took it on its first test drive. It rides pretty good. I don't know exactly how fast I'm going. I need to find that out as far as stock, but all the wheels are on it. Check this front passenger wheel out here.
this is how it was held on there and a lot of these uh lug holes there are just completely rusted so we're going to replace this with one that we have here and take it for another spin look how big those holes are man i can fit my finger all the way down to almost my second knuckle and these can't even put the finger into so yeah definitely a problem there anyways I'm swap this tire on there for the time being and take it for another ride so we're doing 12 miles per hour uh, that max speed is not from this 13 we're not doing very much this is a 72 volt uh, lithium now on the Cushman so I think we need to go ahead and throw the Navitas on here and see what kind of range we can get out of it all right so I went ahead and put the Navitas controller onto the golf cart here and uh, one of the I just got one bolt uh, going through the mount of the golf cart into the controller however the controller is a little bit smaller uh, in um, its shape and its mounting pattern than the stock Curtis was. So I, like I said, I got one mounted here. I'm just gonna take a punch. I'm gonna punch the rest of the three holes, try to drill those and put the bolts in place there. All right, so went ahead and got the controller bolted down, went ahead and ran the OTF, and I kind of ran it along with the rest of the wires running along the driver's side of the frame. I'm gonna put the cover back on the uh, controller cover itself, make sure everything fits fine. It should, because I believe it's a little bit smaller than uh, the Curtis, so yep, everything fits fine there. I also just ran the OTF down into here. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with the dash just yet. So I didn't want to go drilling any holes in the dash just yet. So it's just going to be right there chilling. I'll just tie it off somewhere like here just so I can uh, lift the seat up and set it, you know, when I need to. So I charged up last night. I'm getting 42 and a half volts with this one, around 42 and a half with that one as well, using that stock charger. So it's putting out about oh, 85 volts with these two batteries here. It is 72 volts nominal, but 85 volts once it's charged up. I still think I can get a little bit more, and I might have to go with the factory charger for those batteries. So we'll see in the near future. This right here is for the lights that don't work. This is my ignition switch currently because I still don't have a key for that. However, when we put the ignition switch in, the light on the dash for the uh, voltage works and the voltage works. So once we unhook this right here switch, it goes off, the solenoid cuts off put it on and it cuts back on. Still have a ton more bolts to put back in the dash also. And it's not fully put back together. However, this is a fun little golf cart. So 
So in the yard, it does donuts. It's got a lot of power. 72 volts is a lot of fun. Uh, these are just eight inch wheels, 18 inch tires, no grip at all. That's why it was slinging it around. However, the wheels was pretty much constantly spinning while we were in the yard. But let's jump over to speed and see what these little 18s will do. So right now we're at 85.4 volts and we got it in drive. We're not going anywhere. I might go ahead and turn the phone on to record as well. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to hold everything together like I've been doing in the past, but yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the phone on here. Screen record, media sounds, and we're gonna start recording. All right, we're just gonna record we're going to record this and I'll place this in the screen, maybe off to the right or something to see exactly how fast it goes. So let's go ahead and uh, put this right here up and have at it. One more time on the donut. Yeah. 